So could XRP be the future of cross-border trading guys? Find out in today's episode. What is up guys, welcome back to your daily source of news on all things crypto and make sure you stay till the end for my XRP price prediction. In today's news, we have XRP holding the value of $0.86 for the majority of the past 24 hours, then having a sudden cliff dive uh, into the red here, holding the value currently at 0.81 for uh, down 5.5% for the past 7 days. As we can see, uh, XRP has been experiencing an up upper strength, then falling off and uh, here we have the cliff dive happening in just in the past 24 hours so uh, in the news today xlm or xrp decoding latam's uh, crypto cross-border remittance preference so cross-border remittances are a matter of life and death as the current world situation and afghanistan's frozen funds have shown us However, there are plenty of high stakes use cases for crypto investors even in less precarious financial situations. This naturally raises the question of which crypto might be the best suited to a use case involving cross-border travel. While many assume Bitcoin or Ether to be, uh, to be the top choices thanks to their market caps and dominance, the truth is that Tether boasted the highest 24-hour volume on 24th of March 2022. USDT volume in that time frame was 78.44 billion while Bitcoin was only 29.7 billion. To that end, a report by the Stellar Development Foundation and Wirex on crypto adoption this year revealed how 9,257 people in the UK, US, Singapore and Mexico used crypto for their cross-border payment needs. These are diverse countries indeed, but it seems that the majority share a hatred for pesky transaction fees. Furthermore, the report stated 45% of respondents from the general population group have sent cryptocurrency to somebody in another country. A surprising insight from Mexico was that more than the supposedly tech-savvy youth, it was seniors spearheading cross-border payments. The report noted, looking at survey results in Mexico, we saw that cryptocurrency users aged 65 and over are most likely to have sent cryptocurrency to someone in another country. So what is the uh, takeaway from these stats? All in all, people use the crypto they deem best for their needs, rather than using crypto specifically designed for purposes like cross-border travel, for example, Ripple, Ripple's XRP or even Stellar's XLM. In fact, even Ethereum founder Vitalik has commented on the popularity of stablecoins in Argentina. This perhaps indicates that crypto users with unstable fiat currencies prefer to settle international transfers with less volatile crypto. So guys, could XRP be the future of cross-border transactions? Well, it is definitely a possibility as we've seen Ripple try to break through multiple economies uh, throughout the months uh, and br um, having a substantial role in the current wo world situation. I think it's on, uh, on its way to become the dominant uh, cross-border payment solution guys and with the great news coming from the court case recently i really think xrp is an amazing investment right now especially now that we've had this sudden dip in value so we can get it for a cheap price so that's it for today's news guys come back tomorrow